Hey everybody, this is Dr. Chen and from my house and uh, it's March 18th, 2020 of the coronavirus pandemic uh, across the world and one of the things that that some people may be wondering is is why why did these how do these viruses spread so fast? Uh, how do our viruses spread among people and why does the rate increase so fast? And so this was actually an activity that uh, I was planning on doing the last day of the week uh, before we got let out of school, but then we had an outbreak in Michigan and they called schools off, so we never got to do this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, do this here in my kitchen. And let me show you what we have here. So we have 16 test tubes down here, so 1 through 11, there's 16 over there, and in each of these test tubes, we're going to have a clear colorless liquid. One of them is going to be distilled water, so those are going to be, this is going to be representing the uninfected people. And then one of these test tubes is going to be filled with uh, clear colorless uh, 2 molar sodium hydroxide, which is going to be the the person that is infected with a virus like COVID-19 and and uh, we're gonna see what happens so I'm gonna take some time right now and fill these up I'm not gonna let you know which test tube has the the sodium hydroxide in it but that will be something that you can uh, figure out uh, later at the end of this video okay hey everyone welcome back so now we have the test tubes filled they have a clear colorless liquid. So this is test tube one. It's got a uh, clear liquid in there. And you can see they all have a pipette. And they are ready to be, to have some interactions. What's gonna happen now is the, the normally you would have people assigned to each test tube and you'd have them mixing, uh, mingling with other people and every social interaction you're going to have a swapping of liquids or germs as in as you do in out in the um, in public so uh, if you were doing this in the classroom you can just have people mingle and swap liquids and and make sure they don't interact with the same person twice but since we're not in the classroom I made a spreadsheet so I have a spreadsheet here and this spreadsheet does not have anybody interacting with the same person twice. So, for instance, person uh, 16 is going to interact with person 8 for the first social interaction. And then person 11 is going to interact with person 9 for the next, uh, and, and so on. So this is for the first interaction. I'm going to take, so I will take 16 right here. So a little bit of 16, I'm going to take some of that, and then a little bit of 8, which is this one right here, take some of that, and then we're going to take the liquids, swap them, so some of them, some in here, like this, I'm going to take some in here, like this, and then you take your pipettes, and you mix them up really well, so you squish it back and forth a couple times. And, and that is the first interaction. And so you would do that with all of these. Uh, I am not going to show a video of me doing all of them, but just trust me that I'm going to do all of them. And so um, here's the, the sheet once again. So if you want to look at it, because at the end you can try to figure out who the, the initial person is, who is the patient zero. So here it is, really close. Okay, um, and I'm going to do this, and we'll be back. Hey there, welcome back. And we did the first round, uh, mixing all the, the different liquids and so social interactions. So the second social interaction, you do the same thing. You have here, we have 10 and 16 swapping fluids, and 2 and 3, and 9 and 4, and so on. So that's just like having a, you know, being in close contact with the person, letting the virus spread through the air in the case of uh, COVID-19. And um, 
We're going to do that. We're also going to do social interaction three just to save some video here and then we'll come back and see what happens. All right, so we mixed up everything and now we are ready to do the check to see who has been infected by our patient zero. Um, could be any kind of virus or COVID-19, but um, what we're gonna do now is take every test tube and put some phenolphthalein into the test tubes and this will tell us if it turns pink whether or not the person has been infected. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. We're gonna go ahead and do this. So one's clean, two is pink, three is pink, four is pink, five is pink, six is clean, seven's clean, eight is clean, nine is clean, 10 is pink, 11 is clean, 12 is pink, 13 is cl clean, 14 is pink, 15 is clean, 16 is pink. Let me show you that, you can see a little bit better. So as you can see, we have quite a few infected people now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people infected. And that's just from three social interactions. Um, now think about how many times a day you would normally interact with people if you are not uh, either shelter in place or in quarantined or trying social distancing and um, you know you come in contact with a lot of people and that would be it, it doesn't have to be you that initially were sick but if someone was sick and infected you and you didn't know it and then you came in contact with someone else and infected them you can see that in just three social interactions half the people here were sick so uh, I encourage you, if you are not doing it already, to keep away from people, stay in your house, stay at least six feet from people, don't get together with other individuals except for your immediate family, um, and especially stay away from the elderly because they are very at risk for uh, getting serious illness or death with COVID-19. And, and if you want to uh, continue on with this, with this activity, you can try to figure out who was patient zero or which one or two people might be patient zero. Um, this is a spreadsheet again. And, you know, I think you start with the, the healthy people and see who they interacted with and start working backwards and trying to figure out a mystery. So here it is again. You can take a look at it. And uh, stay safe.